Hey guys, it's my how-to video for spring. What I'm going to show you how to do is make a fountain. Now, last year I went out and I looked for a fountain for my back deck and uh, went to Lowe's and went to Home Depot. And what I found was uh, fountains were two or three hundred dollars. Uh, they didn't move any water. Uh, I was afraid the basins were going to dry up too quick because they didn't hold any water. I just wasn't pleased with what I saw and thought I could probably do better elsewhere. I started thinking about it and decided that maybe I could go ahead and build my own. I did. A lot of people asked me how I built it, um, how much it cost. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it right now. Now this whole project ran me about 80 bucks. Um, I'll show you pictures and video at the end to show you what it looks like when it's together. The first thing you need to get is a half barrel. Now you can get wood and put the black plastic liner in there. If you get wood, it's going to run you about $30. If you get the plastic liner, it's going to run you about $21. What I did was I bought a resin barrel. It's got metal bands around it that rust, so it, it kind of looks authentic, but uh, there's no hole in the bottom. This is going to hold water, and it's not going to break down on me. I've been using this one for about four years, actually. They're, they're pretty sturdy. The next thing you want to get is a black milk crate. Now, you can get these from restaurants. Uh, that's where I would get it because they don't cost you anything. But you want to make sure that it's black, just a standard black milk crate. A little bit of writing up here is not going to bother anything. But what you're going to do is you're going to put this inside your barrel, your reservoir. You want to make sure that it fits. When you're buying a barrel, you want to make sure that you're going to be able to nest one of these down all the way to the bottom. Okay. The next thing you want to buy is a pump. <clears throat> there are a couple ways of doing this. You can go to Lowe's or Home Depot, or you can go to eBay. I priced these on eBay. This pump, this is a 260 gallon per hour pump, um, on eBay is going to run about 30 bucks. If you get this pump at Lowe's or Home Depot, you're looking at 50 to 60 bucks. I would go the eBay route. When you order your pump, Make sure you know what the diameter of the outlet for the pump is, um, where it's going to push the water through the pipe. Make sure you know what that is. Run down to Lowe's or Home Depot. This is important. You've got to get a fountain nozzle set. It's going to run you about 10 bucks. They're not that bad. Uh, I'd just go ahead and get it at Lowe's or Home Depot. I wouldn't try to save money because you, you need this to build the rest of the fountain. You need this with you to buy the rest of your parts. So you've got your, your pump. Now this one, by the way, has got a little screw-off filter, which I kind of like. It uh, keeps the big stuff out. It doesn't keep the real small stuff out, but it does a real good job. This fountain I've got never did clog last year. It ran uh, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Uh, it was just really a, a no-maintenance deal. Okay, the next thing you need to get, the other parts you need to get are 10 inch standard pots. Just 10 inch standard terracotta pots, they're five or six bucks. Um, what you want to do when you buy all of your terracotta that I'm going to show you is you want to have this piece of your, your nozzle set with you. You've got to make sure that this will fit through the pipe because it's going to run through the tail end of the pot. Uh, uh, pot. So you want two of these, 10 inch, Last thing, one of the last things you're going to want is a top pot. Um, I use a dish garden pot. Um, once again, it's terracotta. I believe this is 14 inch. Uh, they have a 12, it's a little too small. Um, once again, you've got to make sure that the pipe fits through the bottom of the pot. And let me show you what we're going to do. You need some lava rocks too. You can get those out of the yard. You're going to take your bottom pot, you're going to put your milk crate in it. And while you're choosing your pots, think about this. You're going to take this pot and you're going to set it upside down on top of your milk crate. The black milk crate, you can't see it when you fill it with water, it disappears. You get a colored milk crate, you're going to be able to see it. That's why I recommend black. So you're going to put this down, upside down. Take your second pot and you're going to nest it 
right side up. Okay. The third pot will nest inside that like this. Now, uh, the shaft, the pipe is going to fit up through those. That's why you've got to make sure that that uh, pipe will fit up through, and it should. These are common pots. Let's go ahead and put this together. Now, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take this pump. Now, I'm going to use zip ties. Um, I don't have big enough zip ties, but uh, I'm sure you all have rigged something up before like I'm going to do here. I'm just going to want, I just want to hold the pump up towards the plastic, just as a little helping hand. Probably be wise to go ahead before you put this thing together. And make sure that you know how these plastic pipes are going to fix fit, because sometimes they can be a little bit confusing the way that they go together. Next thing we want to do is put our fountain head on. Now, usually when you buy a kit, you'll have two or three different fountain heads, and I have some that dish out and that come in a big circle. Um, you know, some that do this and some that really spray out. What I like is this, it's, I, I call it the frothing head. It gives a lot of, it gives a shaft, but a real bubbly, real airy shaft. It gives you a lot of noise. I'm gonna put that pipe on, screw it in there. We've got our plumb. Okay, now that you've got this whole thing together, we're gonna go ahead and put on the top. And this is what I like to do when I put on the top. Now I've got my my pipe that's coming down from the bottom here. I've got two sections of pipe. So actually, in in this pot, the pipe is pipe is exposed. Um, you always want to just have to go through one hole so you can sight that pipe real good to screw this one in. Now you're going to take this, set it on top. Take your last two sections of pipe, thread them down in there. Okay, now this last section of pipe, show it here, is substantially smaller than this pot. That's why I got the plumber's putty. What's going to happen is the water is going to come through this pipe and it's going to fill this reservoir and I want it to spill over this way. If I don't seal up around the hole, it's going to come back down through. So the $2 plumber's putty is good. It's not going to hurt anybody or the, any animals that get in there. Okay, so we're going to set this down on here. Now, we're going to get out our plumber's putty. Just, if you've never used this stuff, you just work it like clay, Play-Doh, you know, act like you're a kid seam up around there. It doesn't have to be pretty because by the time we're done, nobody's really going to see it. Well, nobody is going to see it. And guys, this is basically what you're looking at. You've got your frothing head, your plumber's putty around it, and your clearance of your head, it does not really clear the pot. Um, it's actually right down under it. Um, the reason for that is we're going to actually pack that with lava rock and put lava rock right over the top of that. So, uh, it actually, you know, makes some noise and has something to break up, uh, has something to break up the water as it falls, so it doesn't splash all over. You see a little bit splashing off to the side. You can level the fountain just by moving it a little bit one way or the other, and it'll calm itself out. And that's my fountain, folks. If you've got any questions, uh, email me from the side. I'd be happy to help you out. And uh, enjoy spring.